For example, in Surah 7, verse 43, we see that the people in heaven pray and say, Alhamdulillah, praise be to God, who guided us to this. We could, not, we could never be guided without God's blessing and, and guiding us. In other words, it was not their doing. It is God's blessing and God's gift to them that guided them. In Surah 10, verse 9, we see a very clear principle saying that God guides the people because of their faith or their belief. In other words, when you decide to worship God alone, then God provides for your soul. And God provides the five contact prayers for your soul. And the fasting of the month of Ramadan for your soul. I mean, you think that you're going to do the five prayers, but really it's a gift from God. You cannot do it without God's guidance. Surah 9, verse 10. Uh, Surah 10, verse 9, excuse me. In Surah 49, verse 17, another clear evidence for this. The verse says, they act as if they are doing you a favor by embracing Islam or by practicing Islam. Instead, God is the one who blessed them by guiding them to Islam. So when we worship God alone, when we do the five daily prayers, when we fast the month of Ramadan, when we join the Quranic study and even the picnics of the Muslim group, we are not doing God a favor. It is God's provisions to our souls. In Surah 14, verse 40, we see Abraham praying. And what is he saying? He says, please God, make me an observer of the contact prayers. Because it's a gift from God. And also my children, he said. He said, please God, make me an observer of the contact prayers. Rabbi ja'alni muqeem as salah In Arabic. He didn't say, please God, give me a million dollars. So observing the five contact prayers is a privilege and a gift and a blessing. It is not a hardship. It is not work. You get up for the morning prayer before sunrise, not because you want to do this or because you're doing such a great effort, you know, for God's sake. It's because God blessed you and enabled you to get up before sunrise to, to feed your soul this very important meal, the morning prayer. Abraham said, Rabbi ja'alni muqeem as salah My Lord, make me one who observes the contact prayers. And also my children. People in Satan's kingdom are provided with sins. <coughs> we see this in Surah 24, verse 21. When Satan collects people in his kingdom, he pushes them to go to the bar and lie and cheat and drink and uh, do not feed your soul. This is what sins are, not feeding the soul, depriving the soul, poverty of the soul. On the other hand, in Surah 7, verse 28, we see the principle that God does not advocate vice. So it's the exact opposite of what Satan does. And this is why I want to remind you again that God never ordered Abraham to slaughter his son. Because this is ter a terrible vice, of course. And this is why we never, never find it in the Quran that Abraham ordered Abraham to sacrifice his son. That wouldn't make sense and it does not, this law that God does not advocate uh, sins would be violated. People in Satan's kingdom, because of their idol worship, they, uh, they may observe the five contact prayers, but they do not make contact. They dial the wrong number. They dial Satan's number, because they mention other names with God. And this is a trick of Satan. And this is why we find in the Quran such statements as, Woe to those who observe the Salat prayers. Why do the Because now they are really doing an effort. 
But it's all in vain. As we see in Surah 39, it is all in vain. Once there is a name mentioned with God in the prayer, it violates the commandment in Surah 72, verse 18. Once another name is mentioned, the, the whole effort is in vain. And we are blessed here. See, we're going to stand up, we're going to pray to God, we're going we're gonna to establish contact with God, and there will be no name. From the moment we say Allahu Akbar to open the prayer to the end, there'll be no name but the name of God. And you can see the difference. Akram Salah. Allahu Akbar. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر السلام عليكم السلام عليكم This is why it is appropriate to say congratulations at the end of the prayer because you just received the gift from God the equivalent of a hundred million dollars in your account Congratulations